Peace. Welcome, family and friends. I am Buddy the Guy with First Guy in Omaha, and these are your First Guy News headlines. The Vibin City Council is tense after Mayor Jean Stother called out Councilwoman Juanita Johnson in a letter accusing her of being hostile and even abusive towards staff. However, according to WOWT, Councilwoman Johnson released her own letter saying she's the one being mistreated. Mayor Stalter says the condemnation isn't race-based. However, some feel Councilwoman Johnson is being unfairly portrayed as a stereotypical angry black woman. Others say microaggressions toward Councilwoman Johnson are the real issue in the council. In other news, OPS finalized their search for a new superintendent with the hiring of interim superintendent Matt Ray. Before the announcement, community members were invited to meet with candidates and hear their stance on hot button issues. Despite a unanimous vote in his favor, attendees say Ray's answers left a lot to be desired. Former school board member Kimra Snipes called out his stance on diversity, equity, and inclusion, saying his answer was way off. Current board member Brianna Fool was reportedly emotional about the decision, saying, I hope Mr. Ray proves me wrong. With issues like gun control, funding, and closing programs hanging in the balance, Mr. Ray will definitely have his work cut out. Speaking of issues, the Empowerment Network recently hosted a community forum to address some of the issues surrounding the $230 million set for North and South Omaha. Emotions have been on high since grant awardees were announced earlier this year, with some calling for the DED to be investigated. Despite his own feelings about the process, Empowerment Network President Willie Barney remained hopeful, saying this is really about trying to move forward to make this community stronger than it's ever been. Others shared that hope as several community organizations came together to discuss a path forward and a way to maximize future resources. And finally, we caught up with Senator Tony Vargas to discuss his stance on a few things and his upcoming congressional race against Don Bacon. Despite a limited amount of time, Vargas laid out his stance on several issues ranging from housing to health care to the millions in economic recovery dollars coming to North and South Omaha. Vargas was instrumental in getting those funds set aside and says he's now focused on maximizing opportunities for his community. As campaign season heats up, we look forward to hearing from Senator Vargas and several other candidates. Be sure to catch it all on First Guy Omaha in the morning, live on Facebook and YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. where we talk to the community about the things that matter to them the most. I am Buddy the God, and these are your First Guy Omaha News Headlines.